So I'd take a minute to show you this beautiful apple tree blossoming here in the front yard. Great stuff. And this is the garden from April 23 of this year. It's got the remnants of last year's garden yet. And in this video, we're going to be showing you the process of building the new one. Probably skip around a little bit, won't get it all in there, but uh, we'll squeeze as much in as possible. So after a bit of work today, this is the new garden area. Throwing up my raised beds. Over there we got the, uh, the lumber that we'll use for the hydro setup. And there'll be a row of hydro right about there and one right about there. Got to flatten this out a little bit, level it out a bit. Probably next week I'll be uh, digging the holes for the uh, the 4x4x10s and we'll get uh, some actual structures built in here. Should be interesting. So I've made quite a bit of progress since we last chatted. Um, almost ready to go with this uh, contraption. Got all my, almost all of my uh, holes drilled. Let's see if we can get a shot there. That's the return holes from the for the Beto buckets. Got most of those uh, ready to go. Got a few on the last row I got to do yet. Just wanted to point out a couple of things on the uh, on the bench, uh, particularly the the holes. When you drill these holes, uh, you're going to end up with some PVC chips uh, down in the pipes. And I've used just a regular garden hose to uh, to wash these out. And at the same time, that's given me an indication of uh, how my drainage is. And I realized that even though I've made um, uh, some raise the dirt here a little bit to try to get my angle so it uh, comes down and everything sort of flows down this way. I haven't done enough in a couple of cases and part of that is because um, on my connectors there that gives me a little arc. So I need to, uh, I'll be putting some some spacers uh, above the brick, in between the brick and the 2x12 to, uh, like I have here, to sort of uh, uh, increase the slope a little bit. But uh, like I say, that, that gave me a good chance to look into these holes and see where it was puddling up and to see where I need more, more drainage. Well, so I, I did skip quite a bit uh, of the construction phase. And mostly because I just needed to get it done and setting up the camera sometimes takes a little while and well you know uh, but here's where we are today this is Saturday and uh, got the structure built as you can see got some uh, some leveling issues that I'm working on 
I'll be cutting some nicer pieces of wood to uh, be able to level these off a little a little nicer later today. But I want to get these plants out because, uh, well, I want to get them out. I'm not too worried about my peppers. They are out here and they are looking pretty good. These are the bell peppers. My uh, Paul Robeson tomatoes that I had cloned and they are taken off quite nicely. I did bust this one tomato plant uh, as I was taking it out of the tent. If you can see that right there, uh, it is busted. So I'm, I don't hold out too much hope for this stuff down here, but eh, yeah, it's not going to live. I should probably just take it off of there, but I'll do that later. But this is the setup. The uh, the black is the feeder line with the small emitters going into each bucket, two per bucket. And then when the bucket gets full, right about to here, it drains out into the PVC. Everything's sort of at a slope down to this way. And it comes down, oh, there we are, comes down and then drains into these uh, buried reservoir. And this other box here is what is housing the electronics. Got my, uh, my meter in there, my timer, and the, uh, the bricks are to uh, hold everything, or hold the, the container in place so it doesn't just fly away. And I don't have this hooked up yet, but this, uh, this will be my reservoir when the primary tank gets low. This will automatically fill it up so it doesn't burn out my pump. And right now I've got uh, this brown duct tape over the holes so I don't get rain or uh, any algae from the plants that I do have out here already. But that's my goal today is to transplant a bunch of, uh, of my tomato plants, get them out here.